Hey everybody, it's Royal Ruby, and I got my cabinet done. I promised you guys I would do a video um, when I have my cabinet finished. Uh, it's a, a cabinet that I made out of cardboard. <laughs> but guess what, guys? It works great, and I really like it. So I have it back here. I'm going to show it to you real quick. Now you can open the door without moving that, but I just want you to see. You can see this little crease here. I left that there on purpose. So when the cushion is up, you can still open the door like that, but you can open it all the way when the cushion is down. And it goes back pretty far. I mean, it's like nice and deep. I'm gonna be able to put a lot of um, pantry items in there. And I just stuck some art on the side because I had to cover it. I painted it agreeable gray, the cardboard, and then I covered it with um, packing tape so that it would be waterproofed. And it's kind of ugly because it has that packing tape on it. So I just stuck a couple of pictures and some flowers and things here to kind of take away from the, the ugliness of the packaging tape. But it's great. I mean, I have it held up with the U-bolt here. And then back there, there's a bolt that came that I took the safety belt off and that bolt is going up through the cabinet. And I just um, stuck it on like that. Now it's held on here. It does kind of move a little bit at the bottom here, but it's not going anywhere. It does have this ledge that it's resting on. It's very, it'll support cans. It'll support anything. It's very sturdy. I have it glued and taped. So it's, it's very sturdy. And then when I have the um, cushion up here. This is my chair cushion. It, pro it provides even more support and I can still open it, like I said, if I need to get in. I just don't have the, the full width, which comes to here. But I really like it, I do. I mean, I'm gonna live with it for a while. Um, it's gonna give me a lot of extra storage. Like I said, I plan on keeping my food in there and my spa my makeup and all my spa stuff in there. And I'm looking forward to trying it out on my next trip. I'll let you guys know how I like it. But because I made it out of cardboard, I don't have to worry if I don't like it. It didn't cost me much. I think it was $15 for the, I got a wardrobe from U-Haul. That's what I used to build it. I mean, 15 bucks. So if I end up that I don't like that it's big, it is kind of big, you know, in that space. And before I put it there, it was just like over here, you know, it was just open. Um, I kind of like the openness, so I'm going to leave it open over here. I was going to put another cabinet over here, but I decided no. I just need one because I don't want to close off my van too much. I like openness and I don't want to make it look too claustrophobic. So that's how it turned out. And if I like it, we're gonna build it out of wood. I'm gonna use the cardboard as a template and I'm gonna put it up with wood and we're gonna, um, you know, go for it. <laughs> full force, full fledged force, but it's really nice. I mean, I'm gonna have so much storage with that cabinet. I won't have to put things under the bed. I'll be able to store things in the cabinet. So I might be able to eliminate the tule on top of the van completely because I can put all my tarps under my bed now in a Rubbermaid container because everything's coming out from under the bed and going into this cabinet, which is great. So that way I could put a solar panel on top of the van, 160 watt solar panel, which will be nice when I'm boondocking to charge my Jackery up. Yeah. So what do you think, guys? Leave a comment below and let me know what you think of my, my new pantry cabinet built out of cardboard. <laughs> God bless you guys. I'll see you down the road.